Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable one-year-old little boy. So I'm trying out a new recipe today for cheeseburger sloppy joes. This is actually a crock pot recipe. I found this at the Dollar Tree a while back ago, but I'm just making it on the stove top. So in my skillet, I have um, a pound and a half of lean ground beef, onions, and garlic, and I seasoned my meat with this. And then I am getting ready to add in some water, some of the W sauce, can ever say that, brown sugar, and some ketchup. And you're supposed to let this all simmer together. And then you're supposed to stir in, um, I, this is eight ounces of cheddar cheese that I grated. So once this is all come together, I'm gonna stir this in. It seems like a lot of cheese, but we'll see. Okay, so here's the Sloppy Joe's and it's actually pretty good. It's really not bad at all. I like it, I think I would make it again. I'm serving it on a buttered brioche bun. We are trying these for the first time. I picked them up at Aldi. I kind of um, over toasted them just a bit, but they're still good. And then this is Howard's plate. He is having his with um, these chips I picked up recently. Doritos Dynamita, I guess, Flamin' Hot Queso. So I like these and he likes these too. We don't like the other flavors because the lime flavor is really strong. I don't think this one has lime in it, or if it does, it's very light. So we both like them and they're pretty tasty. And then I am actually having flaming Hot Funyuns, which I love. And so here is my plate. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you all next time. So we are eating from our freezer tonight. I had these in my freezer. These are from a recent trip to Walmart. I have not been able to find these wings and I couldn't tell you the last time but they typically have three varieties. They have the garlic butter, they have an Asian, and then they also have Cajun. I was able to find the garlic butter and the Cajun, but not the Asian wings. So I cook these in the air fryer, and then it comes with a dry rub. The only thing that I don't like about these is it seems like the dry rub never gets fully absorbed into the wings. And I didn't use the entire packet of seasoning just because of the sodium content. So we're having the wings, and then we're also having this tart from Trader Joe's. I've talked about this tart before, Howard and I really like it. I typically cook it for lunch because it's so light. We just split it, but if I have it for dinner, then I like to have something with it, and so that's why we are having the wings. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see y'all next time. Hey, so for dinner tonight, I am, I tried out a new recipe. I was gonna record it, but Harrison was in rare form, screaming his head off. Um, but it was a really quick recipe, a lemon butter garlic chicken, a lemon butter chicken, excuse me. It has garlic, onions, lemon juice, um, and parsley as well. So it kinda looks like the picture, but it is very, very lemony. And on the side, I am serving a um, spinach and orzo pasta, which I have made several times on our channel before. I will make sure to link the chicken recipe and the pasta recipe in the description box. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see y'all next time. So I am making a really quick and easy dinner tonight. In my skillet, I have some of this beef smoked sausage. As you can see, I sliced it up and I added a little bit of oil to the skillet. I have this in my freezer. To it, I'm going to add this coleslaw that I had in my fridge um, that is going to go bad pretty soon. So I'm just gonna make a stir fry out of this. So I'm gonna let this fry up like I would if I was making fried cabbage with bacon. And then I've got some rice already ready to go. And then I also stir fried some broccoli. I had a little bit of fresh broccoli in my fridge and I wanted to use that too. So I've already cooked that up. We're just waiting on this to get ready. 
Okay, so here is the stir fry. I forgot to mention that I seasoned it with garlic powder, um, this Kinders or Kinders, never quite sure how to say the name of that, and then onion powder. But it was really quick and easy to throw together. And then here's the broccoli, and as I mentioned, I'm just serving it over some jasmine rice. So a quick and easy dinner um, for us tonight. See you guys next time. So I am making lasagna roll-ups for dinner tonight. I made these for the first time last fall and Howard and I really like them a lot. I don't know why it's taken me so long to make them again, but it calls for turkey Italian sausage. I'm gonna be using pork sausage and it calls for cream cheese. I'm gonna be using chive and onion cream cheese and then it calls for spaghetti sauce. And the spaghetti sauce that I am going to use is this tomato and basil pasta sauce from Trader Joe's. It's a creamy sauce, as you can see. Here's a cream cheese, and then here is the Italian sausage that I'm gonna be using, my lasagna noodles, and then I just need to grate up my cheddar cheese. But it's a really easy recipe, so let's get started. Okay, so I've cooked my sausage and drained it, and now I'm going to add in some pasta sauce, about a third of a cup of pasta sauce. And I'm gonna add in my cream cheese. And I let my cream cheese set out a little bit in case you're wondering why it's a little bit watery. But I'm just gonna let this all come together. And then I'll show you next steps. I've got my lasagna noodles boiling on the burner next to me, so. I'll be back in a second. Okay, so you may hear Harrison in the back. He is playing right now. But here is my meat mixture right here. And I thought I would show you how I roll my lasagna rolls. So I've got just a few lasagna noodles laid out here. And I just put them, put the meat mixture on the center of the lasagna the best that I can, just like that. And then I just top it with some cheese. And I always go overboard on the cheese. So I've got my cheese in there and then you just roll it up. Your hands are gonna get a little messy, that's okay. You just roll it up, just like that. And you're going to put it seam side down in your prepared pan. So this is my pan. And I have a glass pan that I would have preferred to use, but I'm using it for something else. So I've just got um, an aluminum pan here that I lined with nonstick foil. And I have a little bit of the pasta sauce on the bottom, and then I'm just laying my noodles right on top, just like that. All right, so here are the lasagna rolls. I've got my oven preheated to 350 degrees. I'm gonna cover and bake this for about half an hour. And I forgot to mention to you all that um, this recipe came from Taste of Home magazine. I think I've mentioned before, I used to love, oh, I still love them, but I used to subscribe to them. This is from 2012, can you believe it? But this recipe, lasagna roll-ups, is online. Um, but I'll make sure to link the recipe in the description box as well. Okay, so here they are. I ended up baking them for half an hour, the last 10 minutes. I took the foil off, of course, that is Harrison, in the background. And then I'm just serving it with salad. And then I am going to have this salad dressing for the first time from Trader Joe's. And then um, Howard is going to have this Ken's Steakhouse. Um, Creamy Caesar. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see y'all next time.